Hello, friends of Jesus. Uh, welcome to Dawn of Faith episode this morning. We are here to listen from God and know of what he wants us to do. And before we start, my name is Meshak Ochoki. Let us pray. Loving Father, we want to thank you this morning for allowing us to worship you. As we listen from your word, we pray that you feed us with the right information and you empower us with your Holy Spirit, my prayer by faith, in Jesus' name. Amen. This week we are going to work on a very simple subject, that is small things that matter. And under it we are having a subtopic today, that is friends of Jesus everywhere. I want to tell you that in the Bible we encounter many friends of Jesus. We have friends like John, James, Andrew, we have Peter, who happened to walk with Jesus every time, encountered what he did, how he did the miracles, sometimes recorded by sight, and sometimes maybe he uh, they, they recorded by even writing. But today, I want to take you to some friends of Jesus who happened to be in a different age. That is in the book of Daniel chapter 1. We happen uh, to meet some friends of Jesus who were taken to or captive in Babylon. And these friends of Jesus are taken from their land to a foreign land. They happen to meet different cultures that they had not uh, known before. And I want you to, to take you to a simple things that they do that are very interesting. When you read uh, the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, uh, it says, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. One thing that I want you to know about friend of Jesus is that they just don't take anything into their bodies. They take quality and not quantity. You see, when these friends of Jesus get into the king's palace, they happen to meet kind of food, kind of uh, wines, drinks that were being served and they considered that they are not good. As a friend of Jesus too, I can say of a few, a few that I know, maybe not being good to our bodies. One of them, as these friends of Jesus, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, denied the dead meat and some wine that could maybe defile their the, 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 their bodies and that means it could not praise their uh, their Jesus who was guiding them in their life and now they decided completely not to take w one thing I want to tell you this morning is that friends of Jesus don't just take anything they take that which is right and that which helps the body and not defiling it another thing that catches my attention in verse 12, uh, 11, 12, 13, is that these friends of Jesus happen to remember what kind of food they were supposed to take in their land. You see, before they came into uh, Babylon for captivity, they could take some kind of food that were uh, good, and they, they were taught on how to eat and how not to defile God's body. And you know, the body we are having is not ours. We are having a body where the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, dwells in. And whenever we divide, uh, defile our bodies, uh, you see, we send away the Spirit of the Lord, that is the Holy Spirit, from us. And now, for them to have Holy Spirit and to have the guidance of the Master, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, 
they could remember the food that they were given by their Lord. And now in verse 12, the Bible says, Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them uh, and let them give us pulse to eat and uh, water to drink. That is what they chose as right to take. Now, my question is, maybe as a friend of Jesus, whenever you visit friends, whenever you invite friends for party, whenever you have people around your house, do you do them that which defiles body? Do you give them alcohol? Do you give them meat? Do you give them uh, food that is not supposed to be taken? We know from even our cultures, they are food that we are not supposed to be taking. For example, in the African culture here in Kenya, it is very rare finding a community taking snails and uh, such like uh, stuffs. And are we feeding people with such that defiles body and sending of uh, the Holy Spirit? Now, when we conclude this chapter in verse 17, we find that God was very proud of his friends. Jesus was very proud of his friends, that he fed them with knowledge in everything they did. Now, friends of Jesus, what we take into our bodies is a very key concern. Sometimes we lead into a lot of mistakes, a lot of diseases, a lot of uh, uh, poor thinking, evil thinking because of taking that which is not right and forget of what God has allowed us to take. And I'm inviting us this morning that as friends of Jesus, we should always remember to take that which is right to our bodies and remember of what God gave us. When you read in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 29, the Bible says, And God said, Behold, I give, uh, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit. And the main point I, I want to draw from that is we have that which God guided us from the first place to take, to take fruits taking vegetables that are written there, taking water and such kind of food that does not defile uh, God's temple, but invite the Holy Spirit to be with us always. And above all, when you do that which is right, the Lord gives us the best of his knowledge to deal with, with all the challenges that we have uh, happened to meet. You see, these people happened to meet a lot of challenges in a foreign land, but because they were able to eat that which was right from the Lord, God gave them knowledge to do that which is right. Now, as I finish and invite you this morning, I, I want to ask again, are you a friend of Jesus? Do you really take into your body what the Lord tells you? Do you really discourage people from giving you that which is not right whenever you give them, uh, you meet them? Do you really feed your children with that which uh, builds or that which destroys? As you ask yourself of that, I want to say goodbye and continue watching our episodes on Dawn of Faith. Thank you.